guys, I'm Eliza, Gen X Gamer Girl, and today I wanted to tour my Halloween themed island, Belle Isle. So I thought we could start with the map. So here is my island. You don't really see any of the paths because um, I didn't put any of the uh, permanent paths underneath, but you'll see them on when we actually get out into the island. They're pretty clear. Um, so there's Zombie Girl's house and Leatherface, who from Amity of Bill Horror or Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then I have Rod and Anna Cotty and Bella. These three are ones that I want to uh, move off the island. And then there's Chatter, who I love, and Maple. I also love her. Boots, I just got. Um, I also just got Kabuki. And then there's Marlo. I want to get rid of him. And Anka and Petrie. And I wanted Petrie because she's a scientist. And I think she'll fit in well with my Frankenstein. So here's the shop. Resident services. Um, then next to the shop, we have uh, the Ables. And then the museum and the camp oh and the airport which is where we're going to start so i thought that we would go um down here to the left and that is where i put my farm like my farmer's market i didn't really have a place for it in the actual um, island area this little corner was open so I thought I would put it here um, and then I have your pick your pumpkins so the villagers can come and pick their pumpkins and then um, I thought the villagers might decorate their island with some big inflatables so I chose the Godzilla and the Transformers for that so we're gonna head down here past the Abel's and the Nooks and we're gonna go um, there's resident services and Anacotti. <laughs> and we're going to go um, through the little archway to the haunted maze. If I can get her to go the right direction. Here we go. And we're going to go through the little maze. That's a good, fun fall activity for Halloween. Let me go through it. Oh, look, Anacotti's doing some more bug catching. Hey, there's a bee over here. All right, we're going to head over to the lab, uh, Frankenstein's lab. And this is kind of where I imagine that Petrie would be hanging out, doing her experiments. Get a little see of what I've done back here. All the codes that I used, I'll put in the description box down below. So up here, go up the steps and you'll see the museum. So I thought that would make a good roof, kind of a good place for the museum. And the uh, CPR dummy, I really wanted to put him on the gurney, but he just would not go. There's some more Frankenstein. I really need one of those panels that have just the one so that it's not two heads. Um, I did decorate my beaches. Um, with Halloween items, um, I didn't pull them all the way to the edge because I like to fish and I like to catch the bugs and I wanted to be able to do that still on the beaches. So um, we're going to come down here a little bit and I had added a workspace which has the storage cabinets on the right and then a work table on the left and an ATM in case I need bells. If I can get her to go in. There we go. And I really love these medieval building sides. I think they're just perfect for building antique looking buildings or ancient buildings. So you can see some more of the Halloween down here. Now we're going to head into the neighborhood and you can see Kabuki's house behind, but this is Petrie's. And 
<laughs> I put Freddy Krueger in here because you can't have Elm Street without Freddy Krueger. So, definitely had to add him in. You can see Anacotti over there and Chatters in the back looking at the tree, or maybe he's working out. I'm not sure. This is Chatter's house next door. We're going to come up here and go to the left. I did put Elm Street on all the streets, so it's all Elm Street. <laughs> so um, that's Maple's house, and to the side there is her garden. And this is just a neighborhood park. It's right behind Nook's Crannies and the Abel Sisters. So we're going to go back down here and up. The pink and green house is Anacotti's. And then we're going to, that's the gas station. Just, you know, if you're going to have cars, you have to have a gas station. Then we're going to head across the river to Dracula's Castle. So, and I wanted it to have like a long entrance. So I used um, the walls to create a long entrance, but I put in the archway so we could still get to um, both sides of the yard. There's some of the bugs that Flick uh, created for me. Dracula's casket. Now I put in this balcony so you know you could imagine Dracula coming out here in, at night and flying off from his balcony. You can see the lighthouse and the um, little pool down there. We we'll come down over here to the the other beach. We can go back here and still fish. Just kind of imagine he'd want it dark and kind of creepy. Then we're gonna head up um, to the back of the island. And you're going to be able to see uh, the backyard. There's a cave back there. Um, and I don't know why that blank space was there. Uh, sorry about that. Um, and we're going to head into the graveyard. So you have to have a cemetery next to Dracula's. It's just, you know, has to be there. Now we're going to head across this bridge and it will take us into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre area. You'll see lots of blood and chainsaws some skulls, a few dead bodies, everything you might imagine. We're going to head into uh, Leatherface's house. Um, I really liked the look of this exterior with the two uh, the plants on the side. So I kept this to one room and didn't upgrade it because I didn't want to have to change the exterior or anything to it. So he's got his bug and then he's got all vintage things like the vintage TV and TV tray. I've um, got the sloppy couch, some gyroids because everybody has to have gyroids and then sloppy sink and the, uh, fireplace because you know kind of makes it more dark and creepy and his masks are on the wall you know he's a serial killer he, he's got to have different masks so let's tour his yard a little bit so you can get more idea of what i've done um of course there's chainsaws everywhere and then there's the gas station again so we're behind the gas station there's a little pond Imagine he'd maybe dump those dead bodies in there eventually. This is my little fruit grove, and it kind of goes on to the other side of the fencing, but we're going to get to the fencing area a little bit later. So we're going to come down here, and through these two trees, we're going to head into the abandoned circus. And you can't have an abandoned circus without Pennywise and the red balloon. And I figured with all the boxes, the villagers got all creeped out and had to leave because they were too scared of Pennywise. So they took off. Because Pennywise just scared them to death. <laughs> so now we're going to head up to Day of the Living Dead, which is where Zombie Girl lives. And so there's a zombie. <laughs> I used the mannequins to create the zombies. 
Um, so I wanted to wish we had some male mannequins. I just, I thought that would help make it really kind of seem like there's zombies everywhere. I probably need to add a few more of the CPR dummies with some blood spatter, make it a little more creepy. So now we're going to head into Zombie Girl's house, and I kind of left it as what it might have looked like prior to her becoming a zombie. So if you have any ideas for that, let me know in the comments below. As I said, it's just a normal little girl house with her gyroids on the wall, singing along to her music. A little cute girl bedroom, early bedroom. I love the Sanrio stuff, don't you? The Sanrio is one of my favorite favorite things to get for the island. So now we're gonna head to the left into her bathroom. Because, you know, after a hard day of eating brains, who doesn't need a long, hot bath? And then she's got her Hello Kitty things to put on afterwards. She can sit and do her zombie girl makeup at the cinnamon roll table and, or cinnamon roll chairs. I think that's a My Melody table. Now we're going to head into the kitchen. But because she's a zombie, she got rid of all of the cooking things just left her coffee there on the counter and then kept her refrigerator so she can keep her brains cold. So now we'll head upstairs. So I figured this would be like her little meditation room. She's got, you know, her katana she can practice with school stereo. I debated putting some blood on the walls here. Tell me what you think. Do, should I put blood there? Let me know. We'll head, um, she doesn't have a basement, so we're going to head on out and finish looking at her yard. As you can see, she's got um, a work table and storage unit up here. Um, since, my isle, since my island is Belle Isle, I kind of have a lot of money trees um, scattered about. Lots of uh, blood spatter and some dead bodies there where they've been chomped on. Here's the rock garden. Now I've put this in, in my prior build and I just haven't changed it. I'm not sure what to do with it. So I'm going to work on that probably in my next video. Um, now we're down in the swamp and it extends out onto the beach. And we're coming up on Boots' house. So we'll see that in just a second. Boots um, is an alligator. Because, you know, every swamp has to have an alligator. So I got Boots. And I had to put an alligator crossing sign in because, you know, you have to warn your villagers when there's an alligator in the area. So I really loved using the vines and the guava and pine trees in the swamp. I just think it gives it a fuller feeling. Um, and the mushrooms, love the mushrooms, especially at night. It looks so cool. Um, I'll have to do another video where she walks through the, where I walk through the swamps just so you can see it. It looks really, really cool. So here's my house. You know, because the witch has to live in the swamp too. I'm not real sure I'm happy with the decorations here, but let me know what you think. Um, I use the graveyard wallpaper here along with the glow in the dark stickers so that's what the ghost and the spider are and then um, i think there is a scream character the scream ghost he's down here on the there you go down there by the school um radio it's anka hi anka come on in Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> of course you did. Come on in. Just hang out, listen to some music, because I'm going to bet you're not going to follow me. Nope. <laughs> so now we're going to head into her bedroom. Um, I used the kind of creaky boat, I think is what this was. The boat sounds in her room. Um, I like the skull wallpaper with the skull rug. She's got some Freddy Pennywise, like she idolizes them there. And the hyacinth lamp. That's one of my favorite lamps in this game. I just think it's so pretty. The plasma balls up there. It's very creepy room to me. <laughs> Here, I think we'll head to the right. Um, this is kind of her brewing room, like and she's got some weird experiment things going on in here. And she uses that mortar and pestle to like crush things up, distill some stuff. Oh, the scream guy's hanging out there. Got a boiling pot of water like she's going to cook somebody later. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she's going to have some alligator stew. You never know. Oh, you're leaving? Well, see you later. Sure, sure. Bye, Anka. Take care. All right, now we're going to head over into her kitchen. So she's got her potion. She's got her spooky table setting. You know, Jack's portrait. There's another spider buddy. And I used the stone stove cook thing in here because I thought that would be more uh, witch-like. Um, let's head upstairs. So up here I used the astrological floor and I added, I did add the paint splatter here with the help, like she's been doing some sacrificial stuff up here. I don't want to make it too creepy, but I wanted it to be a little bit creepy. So I did add those. Um, just really wanted it to be kind of spooky. So I did use the spooky Halloween wallpaper. Um, oh. So then uh, you can see I've got this splatter and the candles. I think those pink candles are from the wedding set, but I thought they kind of went cool in there too. Let's head downstairs. Um, downstairs is where she might do some other kind of experience, maybe experiments, maybe on bugs, because she's got a little bug friends in there. You know, she, she loves the tarantula and the scorpion, the giant moth. Got another potion and her microscope. Her cuckoo clock, so she's never late when she's down here working. And I think now we're going to head out to see more of the swamp. What do you guys think? Did you like the house? Um, okay, so we're going to go up this way a little bit just so you get an idea of where we're at. There's the bridge. That bridge goes into the village again, back to the Elm Street. And I did put a lot of these things in the swamp pretty close together. Um, there's a few places where you can get through, like here. Just takes a minute. <laughs> um, I did want her to have like an outdoor place to do some magic. So we've got this little portion potion cauldron set up. Um, you can still fish from the rock though um, on the other side of the tiki's or in, the, in between them. So we're going to come down here. Oh, and then go on this 
here that appears mass murder happened, but Captain took care of it, dumped all the bodies overboard. He just doesn't like to clean up the blood. So, ooh, maybe one of the dead bodies washed up, and that's Gulliver. We're not sure. He does appear to be dead over there. I really liked using the swamp path on the beach. I just think it stands out and with all the mushrooms and the glowing moss, it all just kind of works together to create the atmosphere. Again, these boaba trees, I like both the ones with and without the leaves and the, uh, the spooky trees too. Again, at night, this looks really neat. So I'll have to do another video where you guys can see it at night. It's really cool looking. Get a little picture. So there's that fence again. I did encase that whole area in fencing, so you'll see it in just a second. That's where we're going to be heading in just a moment. So we're back over by where Godzilla is in the pumpkin patch over by Abel's. So here we're going to head um, to the right just real quick for the, because there's a parking lot. The beat up car, I figure it got broke down. You know, there are people trying to get away and Jason may have wrecked it. And then you can see another little car here, but I think that one belongs to the Ables. You know, they want to have a place to park behind their business. We don't have any visitors at the campsite yet, or today. Although I'm not sure they'd want to stay here at the moment. It is um, pretty dangerous here. It's like we've got a dead body on the ground. There's a lot of blood spatter. Um, the gray and pink house there is Bella's, and then straight ahead is Rob, and that would be Anka's. Again, Bella and Rob are two of the characters that I want to move off the island and get in some more spooky uh, villagers. I was thinking maybe Lucky would be one. That's Marlo's house. There's another dead body. Oh, and there's Jason has dropped his machete. Bet he'll be back for that later. I'm not going to try and pick that up. I don't want to get my prints on it. We'll just, you know, walk through the blood sweater. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So that is pretty much it. I think we're going to come down here. We'll walk down here and see the um, truck. I did customize the truck so that it would look like it was carrying goods down to the lake or to the camp. Like, you know, it says Camp Crystal Lake on there. Like the sign. So I thought, you know, hey. But I think that's about it for now. And I hope you guys will visit me again. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.